Hey guys, Greenfee, and welcome back to another video. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to extract Minecraft dungeon files, but instead of block textures like the previous tutorial, this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the bosses or like the mobs and stuff like that. Now, same thing I said with my previous tutorial, this process is actually really tedious and very easy to screw up. So I'd appreciate if you could watch the entire video thoroughly and read the entire description thoroughly before commenting any issues. I also apologize if I'm unable to solve your issue or problem. This process is very new to to me as well, so you guys pretty much know as much as I do after watching this video. Also, before the video starts, I'm assuming you guys know how to do stuff like install software, navigate files, stuff like that. I will be showing you how to do it, but it would be a lot easier if you know how to do that beforehand. Also, one last thing before the video starts, if this video does end up helping you guys out, I'm not asking you to subscribe or like the video or anything like that, but I'd really appreciate if you could consider checking out some of the other videos on my channel. I do put a lot of work into them, and I mean, who knows, you guys might end up enjoying them. You totally don't have to, but I'd really, really appreciate if you guys did that. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to the link in the description, and this should take you to the U-Model download site. Now you're going to go down here to Downloads and Install U-Model. Now, U-Model is used to extract Minecraft dungeon files, so you're just going to want to drag this onto your desktop like this. Then what you're going to want to do is head down to the little search bar here and type percent app data percent. Now you're going to want to click on this folder right here. And you're going to want to click to where it says app data. Make sure you're not inside roaming. Make sure you're inside app data right here. So you click on that. Then you're going to want to click on local right here. Then you're going to want to scroll down until you find Mojang, which is right there. Click on this. Then click on products, click on dungeons, click on dungeons again, click on dungeons again, click on content, and click on packs. Now these pack files are basically what Minecraft Dungeons is, it's all the compressed parts of the game. So what you're going to want to do is make a new folder on the desktop, and we can call it pack files, something along those lines. Anyways, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the content or any of the stuff that you're planning to extract, you're going to want to copy all of these pack files inside here, and then you're going to want to paste them inside of your pack files folder that you've created on your desktop. Now, these are a copy of all the game's pack files, which we will need to extract later on. So now you should have these two folders, your U model and your pack files. Now create a third folder and you could call it extracted dungeon files. Something along those lines, this is just the output folder that you're gonna need for the software to output all of the files. Now what you're gonna wanna do is open U-Model, open this little thing here, and click extract all. Now this is not extracting the pack files, but this is just extracting the actual software. Now you're gonna wanna click on this little icon here, U-Model, and it should open up and it says Windows protected your PC, more info and click run anyway because we know that U model is trusted. So now you can close these other two, make sure you have this black box and this U model view startup options kind of thing here. So now click these three dots over here and this is selecting the pack files. So on your desktop you have the copy of your pack files that you've put in this folder select the folder and this is where the pack files are that you're going to extract. Then click make sure override game detection is selected, then you're going to click Unreal Engine 4, and then in this box make sure Unreal Engine 4.22 is selected because that's Minecraft Dungeons version. Then make sure that you check all these boxes on the right hand side here, make sure sounds, all that, all that's checked, then you click OK. Now this is your AES key. Now this is to basically unencrypt the pack files to make sure they extract properly. I'll have it linked in the description, but anyways, just paste that right in here. And now once you've pasted it in, click OK. Now you'll have this pop-up window here. You can uh, close all these folders inside here, the little arrows, and now all packages on the top, you wanna right click that, and then you're gonna wanna click export folder content. Now this is going to export all of the pack files and now here you're going to want to choose your output folder which you made on your desktop which is uh, extracted dungeon files right here. Click select folder then make sure that PSK and PSKX are selected. These are very important they will come in handy later but once that's selected click OK. 
Now this quick little bar is going to load up. This is not the extraction. This takes a lot longer, but there we go. Now it started. Uh, what you might want to do is full screen this black little kind of command prompt thing because it looks pretty sick, but uh, I'll, I'll show you guys when it's done extracting. All right, so it is almost done, and there we go. It'll just stop like this, and this is done, so we can close these two windows, and bada bang, bada boom, there we go. All of the Minecraft dungeon files are extracted with U-Model. So now, what you're gonna wanna do is you can, I guess you can get rid of these because you don't really need them anymore. All that you need is the Minecraft dungeon extracted files which are now on your desktop. Now go to the next link in the description and this will bring you to the Blender download page. You're gonna wanna click download, then download Blender and whatever the newest version is. You are breathtaking. Oh, wow, it'll compliment you even. Now Blender will start to download in the bottom left of your screen, and once it's finished, you're just gonna wanna drag that to the desktop. Now Blender is a open source, pretty much standard 3D editing and modeling software. It's pretty universal. Many people use it and know about it, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but it's free, it's open source, and a ton of people use it. So this is what we're gonna be using to open the models of like the monsters and like the, you know, stuff like that. Um, the enemies and like the, all the mobs that are inside Minecraft dungeons. All right, so now that it's finished, drag it to your desktop and we can close Chrome again. So now you've got your Blender installer and your Minecraft dungeon files on your desktop. You're gonna wanna open the Blender installer like this. Now you're gonna wanna click next right here. Accept, I mean, I guess you can read all the terms and conditions, but just just click next, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Now you're gonna wanna click next again and install. Now this will install Blender onto your computer. Again, it's open source, it's free. It's very, very well known. So that's what we're gonna be using to open the mobs from Minecraft Dungeons. All right, so now that Blender has been installed, we're going to want to open it up like this, make sure it's working correctly. It'll open like this and boom, we have got any minute now, come on. Blender, there we go. So Blender is now done, so we can just click off of this and there we go. This is our starting cube. If you guys aren't familiar with Blender, you can use it to do so many cool things. I'll maybe link a few cool videos that people have made with it down in the description if you want to check that out. But this is Blender and we're going to be using it to open the mobs and all that. So now that we know it's working, we can close it here and click don't save because we don't have anything important. So now what you're going to want to do is install the add-on that allows us to bring the mobs from Minecraft Dungeons into Blender. You're going to want to press keep. It will take you to this link or whatever, and the link is in the description for this. Drag this onto your desktop, and this is the add-on that is used to do that. So now that we have the add-on installed, open up Blender again, and what we're going to want to do is click off here and click edit, click preferences, then you're going to want to click on add-ons right here. Then at the top here, we can click install. Now you're going to want to find your add-on on your desktop, which is right here. Then you're going to want to click install add-on right like this. Now go to the search bar and search up the add-on. It should appear right there. There it is. Import. There we go. These um, PSK files. There we go. You're going to check it so that it is enabled and then you can close this. Before we import the mobs from Minecraft Dungeons, we're going to want to delete some of these things. So you select them and you can right click and you click delete. Now you're gonna click file, you're gonna click import and then import PSK, right like this. Then you're going to select that, then find your extracted dungeon files, right like here, click on them, click game. Then you're gonna wanna click actors. These are just like the tools and the mobs and monsters, stuff like that click characters, then now, I mean, you can select pretty much any of them, but I'm just gonna select enemies. Let's see, uh, let's do the redstone golem, this one right here, this one's one of my favorites. Now you're going to click that and click import, and whoa, it is very, very big. So in order to fix this issue, we're gonna select everything, and over here, we're gonna wanna bring this and make this, all of it, point one. So select all of these and make them point 0.1. And just make sure that his X, Y, and Z are all point 0.1. Now we can zoom in and there he is, but he doesn't have his texture and I'll get to that in a second. 
By the way, to move around, I am pressing the middle mouse button, just so you guys know, that's how I move. But anyways, make sure up here, this thing is selected because that is the textures, like that thing right there. Make sure it is not that and make sure it is selected. Then you're gonna wanna select everything and click this little like circle thing down there. This is just the, like basically what it looks like. Then you're gonna see a ton of like really confusing stuff. Like, don't worry, like don't panic, just click the minus there and it'll all go away. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna wanna click new once you've done that. And then um, there's a ton of options here. Um, you can actually change this right here to a ton of really cool things. You can make them glow, you can make them do all that, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. You're gonna wanna go to base color, press that little button thing there, and you're going to want to make sure you find image texture right here, select that. And now he's dark. Okay, so we're one step closer. You're gonna wanna come down here and click open. Then you're gonna wanna find the texture. So go to your extracted dungeon files, click game, click actors, click characters, click enemies, and then you make sure that you found the one that you exported. So here it is, the redstone golem, because this is the one that I did, and then find the texture, which is right there, and then you're gonna wanna click down here and click open texture. Now there, we're almost there. One thing is that he is blurry, and this is a super easy fix. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't look like Minecraft. So this is a super easy fix. You're gonna to wanna to come down here and it says linear. You're gonna to wanna to change that to closest. So there you go. He is nice and pixelated. All right, well, there you go, guys. That is how you extract Minecraft dungeon files with U-Model and how you get all the mobs and the bosses and all that into a 3D editing software. If this video did help you out, again, I would really appreciate if you could check out some of the other videos on my channel, because I do pour my heart into them. And if you end up watching them, it would really, really help the channel grow. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, but I'm sorry in advance if I can't respond to them. Some of them I just genuinely do not know the answer to, because again, this is all I know how to do. So if you have any questions or if something goes wrong, I'm really sorry, but I might not know how to fix it. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. So with that said, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace!